Welcome Facebook viewers. This is the first in a series of every joke I can remember that I've ever told. And here goes the first one. Years ago, this is not a joke, I'm a joke. Years and years ago, <coughs> 20, 30 years ago, I was on the road buying hides, as many of you know I'm in the hide business, and I went down to Augusta, Georgia, and I got there late at night, it was like uh, 9, 10 o'clock at night, and in those days a Holiday Inn was a big deal, there weren't many hotels to stay at. And I got a room at the Holiday Inn, and I was hungry. I was young, and I was hungry all the time. I walked into the restaurant, and it was a Chinese restaurant. Holiday Inns never had Chinese restaurants. But this one had it, so I was hungry. So I sit down, and I have a, a menu, like you get in a real Chinese restaurant, a whole bunch of Chinese food. And I was amazed, and I ordered I'm thinking to myself, this has got to be garbage. But I ordered the food, and uh, it was outstanding. It was just maybe the best Chinese food I ever ate. And by the time I finished, the restaurant was empty, and it was 10, 11 o'clock, May night in Georgia. And the school kid who's waiting on me comes over, how was your meal store? I said, that was fantastic. It was terrific. He said, would you like to meet our chef? He's getting ready to go home. Oh, I'd love to meet your chef. Out comes this little old Chinese guy. And uh, comes up to me and says, oh, are you like my food? I says, your food is outstanding. Oh, I says, do you want to sit down? Oh, sure. Uh, hey, well, bring me a cup of coffee. So the waiter brings him a cup of coffee, and I'm finishing my last of my delicious Chinese darling tea or whatever it is. And... Uh, uh, I start talking to him and I said, I, I've eaten in, in, in China. In, 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 in those days, the Chinese food wasn't so good in China, but in Hong Kong and, and in Taiwan and, and in, in San Francisco, New York, Chicago, all the great Chinatowns. I've never had Chinese food like this. It's incredible. And here you are in Georgia, Augusta, Georgia, in, in, in uh, on a rainy night. That's amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, people come miles along. We want food. I love my food. Uh, and I said, by the way, my name is Don Ashman. He says, oh, my name is Jaime Goldberg. Excuse me? Yeah, my name is Jaime Goldberg. Your name is Jaime Goldberg? Come on, it's a joke. Oh, no, 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 my real name. With this, he whips out his driver's license. Picture him. says, Hyman J. Goldberg. I said, your name is Hyman Goldberg. I said, I don't want to need to offend you, but not many Chinese people have a Jewish name like, like Hyman Goldberg. Oh, everybody say that. Well, how did you get that name? Was your father's name Goldberg? Oh, no, my father's name not Goldberg. How did you get the name of Goldberg? He said, well, I come to your country in 1923. You got come from Eris Island. You know, you come to Eris Island, you get off the boat in China, you sit behind the same guy all day long. They check your eyes, they check your teeth, they check your ears, they check your pooping, they check everything. And uh, uh, by the end of the day, I can see New York off in the distance, off of Eris Island. And I'm behind the same guy all day. We don't talk, I don't know. And he comes up to the inspector to admit him to America. And he says to the man in front of me, name, the guy say, Hyman Goldberg. And the guy says, stamps his thing, and he says, welcome to America, Mr. Goldberg. Next, now my turn. I come up, name, Sam Ting. Welcome to America, Mr. Goldberg. Oh, 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 oh. 